afternoon. Welcome here to Brawl Quebec for the co-ed two finals for the spring edition as we get ready for uh, the kickoff between the Hunters and Kiss My End Zone. With me is Ryan Dobbs. Ryan, good afternoon to you. We get ready for this matchup here. We talk about Kiss My End Zone, the cream of the crop in this tier two, and three hunters. They were chasing the cream of the crop in. They're, they're, they're definitely going to be a team to, to watch. I played against them last season. They're, they're, on, the, uh, they're on the come up. They're interesting. They, they got a good set of players. There are a lot of players this year, though. I think the roster has like 18 players on it. That's, Something like that, yeah. That's, that's a lot of players. But it's going to be interesting. So what does 300s have to do to pull off the smash or grab and get this victory over um, Kiss Manson? Oof. I think they got to feed their center a lot. She's very. She's got some sure hands. She's very good. But they 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 can't make mistakes on defense. With 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 guys like with guys like Joey Nataro on offense, they got James Drysdale on offense. It's gonna be they they got to lock down on defense 100. percent So the last time they played each other, James Drysdale was a cheap destroy on defense. First play, he picked it off. They scored points. They won that game rather easily. It was yeah. a shutout victory. So in this case here, if they throw ints to kiss my end zone, is it a wrap in the first half? Wrap. Iggy right now has the best season I think he's ever throwing the ball, like 51 tutties with zero interceptions. With a roster like he has, it's if if they the three hunters can't keep the ball in their possession, it's it's a wrap. It's gonna be a blowout by halftime. So three hunters have a massive crowd here on hand. Yeah, they do. Does that make a big difference for them because it's, They've had the fans follow them the last few weeks. It's just more pressure now. It's, it's the big stage. It's not. Uh, it's not the semis. It's not the quarters. It's the big stage. So it's like there's a little bit more pressure. So the more fans is the, just the more pressure. Could one turnover be the difference in this game? If it's three hundred making that turnover, hundred percent. But if it's if it's kiss my hands on, I don't think so. I think they're just gonna eat it up all game long. Well, we'll see now as we get ready for the first play of the day. 300s will be on offense to kick off this game here as we look forward to seeing what they do here. Junior Bateau is the quarterback for this team and what he did. And also is Marc-Antoine Martin as well, who had 16 touchdowns, three INTs during the regular season. And they're going to go with uh, Martin as the quarterback here. And now the key is that first play last time was a picked off. We'll see what they do now with Jordan Ataro, the rusher, coming in on his left. First play of the day, and we're underway here for Coed 2 final. Going to the left side, that's caught up ahead, and a quick nice tackle, tackle by Alexis tackle. Dubois. He'll be second down coming up. Uh, first play was all hooks. Nice nice and easy to start off. That's good. Must remember the first play last time he went deep and got picked off. Well, E.J. Bertin in on the catch. She had 33 catches during the regular season. And, again, they don't have Nick Pierre Massé, who's down at Bishop's University, which is a big loss for their offense in the situation. Second down coming up here. Opening drive of this Coed 2 final. Looking towards the left, that is going to be incomplete into no man's land. And in fact, the Dubois were the ones closest to the football. He had his center actually like for a quick little fire pass middle of the field. James Drysdale came down and just left her wide wide open. For the 300s, they did take out Gorillas 26-6 and the Princess 35-34. Many thought it would have been the Princess in this final. It is not the case to be. It is 300s instead. Third down coming up here. Opening drivers and we're in the first two minutes to play it from Brossard, Quebec. Looking now towards the middle, rolling, now pumping towards the right. Tries to get around Notaro, and he's dead to rights, and a sack right there, and a big stop. And now, Ryan, if you are the captain of this team, do you punt or keep the ball and maybe go for a fourth down? I punt. Knowing how, knowing how good their defense is, I punt it. I get their offense a little bit further back. I mean, you're punting to a quarterback who threw 51 touchdowns. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's, you got to pick your poison, right? And that's a big stop for the, uh, the kiss my end zone. If there is a saving grace for Kiss My uh, for uh, three hundreds, eight games you gave up twelve points or less. So that's something to maybe could be their saving grace in the sense of how they play now. So the first course for Iggy Magnets coming in this game here. We talk about Valdez Manzanetto, what he did. You talked about it before. He had a phenomenal year with fifty three touchdowns during the regular season. Threw an INT last week, so that broke the short streak for no INTs during the regular season playoffs. And now here's his first pass of the afternoon short play. That's caught by the center, and that's going to go for Alex LaRoche, and that will be his 22nd catch of the season. It'll be second down coming up. I think Iggy's going to have to take advantage of the girls. Uh, he definitely has the advantage against the 300s girls, but the 300s are playing not. They're not. They're playing man on man, and they're letting their girls do their stuff. Laura Lorette is the wideout to the right of 
Valdez, short pass, that is caught again by La Roche and quick tackle once again by Mo Nishad, who had nine tackles during the regular season. It'll be third down coming up, and this is what Iggy likes to do a lot, those short intermediate passes and set up for the big play. If it works, it works, right? Like, he's got James Drysdale who can go deep easily. I mean, I hate to say it, Alexi can, can take advantage of the deep threat sometimes. You know, he's a little slow, but he can, he can find those open holes. But I, I think he definitely needs to take advantage of the fact that he's got two of the best girls in co-ed two on his team in Lori and Erica. And they're both situated on the right of the formation here. Base formation, two by two, look for, once again for Kiss My End Zone. Third down coming up here for Iggy. Now looking towards the middle, looking, buying time. He evades the sack, away he goes. Up ahead to the right side, now to the left, and he's down to the sidelines inside the five. Nice More than enough down. for a first down here. And once you get past that first wave of pass rushing, it is open real estate for him in that situation. Iggy in the open field surprises me. He always has. He makes nice, very nice plays with his hips, and he knows how to get away from, especially at quarterback. He, he see, like I've never seen him play quarterback as good as he has this year in co-ed two, and it's it's nice because he's he's taking steps to be the next P's. Well, Valdez Manzanato, he's not known for his legs, but that time he came through on that big rush. It will be first and goal inside the five, knocking at the door here, perhaps for a 6 nothing lead as we're south of 18 in this first half. Manzanato looking towards the left. Patience, middle, that's caught by Willett. Up ahead and oh. tackle by Nishad at the I thought, lip. I thought he missed that. I thought he missed that and she got in easy. And we'll see on the replay if coming up right here how close it was towards the blue line, as you can see in the bottom of the screen, and just tackled oh, at the doorstep. Not bad. And now for this 300s defense, they gave up, gave up 158 points during the regular season. And in fact, they twice gave up 30 plus to this very Kiss My End Zone roster. And it'll be first and second and goal coming up here from the two yard line. Dubois it will be the second receiver to the right of Manzanato. LaRoche has caught two balls so far. Alex Dubois, he was the chief destroyer on receiving for this Kiss My End Zone roster. Looking towards short left. That is nice caught for the touchdown. Nice catch. And LaRoche getting that touchdown. And once again, the safety valve, his fifth of the year. And a big play by Kiss My End Zone. Center's where it's at, man. Center's where it's at. You always get the, get the best plays in the end red zone. You can see by the replay right there, it was a quick out to his left. And right away, that ball was... Ball was perfect. That was a great throw by Iggy. Is there any way to counter that? Because those type of passes are just there for the pass catcher at the snapper position. It's, it's tough. Like, being a snapper myself, it's, it's almost a lock, knowing right away I'm going to be wide open on the end, uh, in the end zone. Going for two to the left. Drysdale gets that in the 8-0 lead. And Kiss My End Zone is off and running here. An 8 nothing lead plus a turnover in their favor for 300s. This drive could be very pivotal if they want to keep themselves alive in this game. If they don't score... I don't know if they're going to come back at all. Like it's, I know it's still early, but with this defense and, I mean, with that offense that Iggy has surrounding him, it's going to be very tough for 300s to do anything. And we'll see now what Martin can do. Again, 16 touchdowns, only a 49% pass during the regular season. Plenty of time. Deep right, open, and incomplete. And that was intended for Michael LaFleur, who had 20 catches during the regular season. And that ball had a little bit too much depth on that pass. It also ran too far out of bounds. But it was it was a nice throw, just a little too much air under it. And the, I don't think the defense saw that, that wheel at all. And you wonder, you might keep that play in the back pocket to go back to down the road here in this I matchup. Would. The two players when I played last year against uh, last season against uh, three hunters was number fourteen and number twenty three. They did a lot of the the grunt work. They're two bigger bodies and they they, they have solid hands. As that was kind of an overthrow. <laughs> and Bertin unfortunately had a little too much zip on that pass. It'll be third down coming up and and now they're in third and ten situation here, Ryan. And that's gonna be tricky for them because last time they were in third and ten, couldn't move the ball here. And this could be a pivotal matchup here trying to get this first down. I think he needs to look at his center a little bit more. She's, she's very good. She gets open. We'll see now if Rekka will be the option. Rolling to his right, and she has open space, oh, and she dropped come it. come on. Caught in two minds, a drop ball, and now fourth down. And what do you do for 300s? Because if you punt this ball, which they yeah, are likely to do, it. you're giving a potential kill shot here for Kiss My End Zone to go up by two scores, and we're not even halfway through this first half. I don't think it's a potential score. I think they're 100% going to score on this drive. That, that offense is just too high-powered. It's 
you know, like, look, James is headed off right now, but they're replacing James with Joey Nataro, who is equally as fast. Or faster. Uh, no, James, when he's super healthy, he plays on a little too many, too much teams. But James is very quick, very fast, and has sure hands. Joey is definitely a lot smaller. He's faster, but... That's going to Ouellette down the right side. It's splitting through two defenders, and she'll be very close to her first down. It'll be eight-yard gain for Laurie Ouellette, who had a phenomenal year during the regular season, had 20 catches and nine touchdowns. So she's definitely a touchdown maker, almost going one TD for every two catches. Didn't she also win MVP female of co-ed too? I believe so, yes. I yes. believe she did. She she deserved that. Um, she didn't get as much love in the women's division. Her quarterback, I don't think, knows how good of a player she is, but she's definitely on the come up. Well, uh, our very own Iggy Valdez Manzanado does know how well she is. Yeah, he definitely gives her the ball often. High snap, looking now towards the left. He's going to take off towards the left. Pirouettes, nice and he's side. sacked for a loss. A big play for the 300s defense, and this is their DNA here coming up with those stops by the pass rush and that could be their calling card now Ryan to get this ball back down by eight. The rusher definitely needs to do a lot more of that and the, the defense Iggy missed a wide open a wide open goal here from jo Joey Nataro over on the right hand side and if if you would have saw that I think that was a different story but it was a nice a nice sack. Well south of 13 in this first half it's an 8 nothing lead for Kiss My End Zone against 300s in this first half of play again Kiss my end zone went 1-0-1 oh, against three hunters. To the right it goes. Cabo will let, and she is devoured right away for a very short gain, and that will be enough first for a first down, which will keep this drive alive and moving the sticks. I'm telling you, he, he can use Lori as much as he wants today. He she's a very good receiver, a very open target. And she can she can make some moves. I watched her play a couple times in the women's and a couple times in the co ed. She she knows what she's doing. Um, and she's, she's got a lot of feist in her. She's very, very solid on defense as well. Nataro is the first receiver to the left of the formation for this Kiss My End Zone offense. Nishad plays center field for the 300s. Pumping, going to the right deep, open, and too much meat in that pass for Willette. It'll be second down coming up here, well covered by the 300s defense. Very well covered. That, that could have been the play they needed to uh, maybe change the, the, the writing in this game. Junior Boteau in on the coverage, and are you surprised that Junior Berto, maybe their best cover player, is not covering Joey Nataro, who's playing opposite of him. I mean, I am surprised. You usually try to put your best, best athletes on the, the other team's best players. But, I mean, Lori could, be, could definitely be one of the best players on that team as well. So, Deep middle. Incomplete. And that ball had the trajectory, but too much dip on that as that was just missed by finger. And you can see by the replay how close that was for being a touchdown for Fertin. Safety played that really nice. Got, gave him a little bit of a, a little tug, which, you know, didn't, didn't get seen, but it was nice. And now you can, you're starting to see this kiss my, zone, kiss my end zone offense really open it up here and try to stretch open this 300s defense. We'll see what they can do now on this third down coming up here as we're south of 11 in this first half. Eight nothing lead four, kiss my end zone. Valdez Manzanato looking towards the right, waiting, patience, there we go. and oh, he avoids nice. the sack, gets by not one but two, and he's gonna get Ooh. a couple yards in that play, tackled by Zafir, but he was dead to right, so it'll be fourth down coming up here, and this could be a money play coming up for this 300's defense. That should have been a sack. That, that would have been a big play if he got him for a loss of yards right there. Uh, James Rides, Dale just checked in, so it's possibly a, a nice little goal route from the outside receiver. And you can see the power formations to the left with Notaro as the slot left and Drysdale the wide out to the left. A lot of star dust and star bursts on that side of the formation. Valdez Manzanato looking towards the left. Going short, that's caught, and that is going to be in enough for a first down. A nice little outside hook right there. And with that, a new first down, and that could be a backbreak here as we're south of 10. And this has been a time-consuming drive for this Kiss My End Zone, Kiss My End Zone offense so far. I think they've taken off about, what, three, three and a half minutes already? Four minutes maybe? I think so. Now we're almost at five here. So this is a very good drive for Iggy, taking his time. The more time he takes off the clock, the better for him. It just puts – you always want to have the ball in your hands, right? You're an offense – you're a quarterback. You always want the last – the last drive in the most time. 
And complete control, high snap, oh. and that was not in control. And a botched snap coming in from La Roche, and that will send them back almost to the Champlain Bridge at midfield. And this <laughs> becomes second and extremely long. And again, we talk about snaps like that. You're driving, 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 that, and that's then a you reverse right back. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's definitely not something you want to do as a snapper. I hate having a bad snap, but I've never, I don't think I've ever sent it that far back. Well, that was sent back to the Champlain, that's uh, for sure. We should, we should ask Alex if there's any traffic on it. We can look on the ways and see what's <laughs> going on or not there. So now it will be second and extremely long for this Kiss My, Kiss My End Zone offense. They are definitely potent, scoring 371 points during the regular season. Again, they've had 10 games of 31-plus points during the regular season, and they'll need a few more points. Short pass, LaRoche inside the teeth, and that is going to be tackled by Nishad. It'll be third down coming up, and this is the money down here for this 300s defense here. They have played well on the deep ball so far. And it's third and goal. or th Yeah, it would be third and goal because they were in the red, not That's the red right. zone, but in goal before. So it's, it's going to be a long drive to get to the end zone. And they're, probably, they're at the 12 right now, if not 13. And so we'll see now how they can come through on this situation. It'll be third and goal. You're absolutely right about that, Ryan. Who is the guy that you're looking at, or girl, that you're looking at for Kiss My End Zone to come through in a big play? I think, I think if Iggy Smarty sends Erica on an intermediate in across the middle, hit her, she can probably turn up and get a little bit more yards. Looking towards the left, pumping and towards the left. Deep left, looking at Taro oh. and great defending once again by 300s. It'll be fourth down, and this could be a pivotal play in this matchup here in the long-term play of this matchup. That should have been a that should have been a pick. You touch it, you catch it, man. Come on. And again, well, we saw that coverage right there. Maybe too much air on that pass from Iggy on that throw. But now he'll get one more roll of the dice on a fourth and goal and a play that could change the complexion of this matchup going towards the rest of his way. He actually had Erica over the middle, like I called, in the right, right, in, right over this, uh, the, the rusher and underneath the safety. Could 300s come up with some regimented defending? Going left, oh, Feltin incomplete. And that will be a turnover and the first miscue by Kiss My End Zone goes in favor of 300s. And now Hunters are back in this game here with the hammer in their hand. It's going to be, that, that's, that's a big stop. That is a very big stop. That's good for them. It's what they needed. It stays 8 nothing. Could be interesting. And now the intrigue gets even more thicker on this situation for this offense here. For Martin at the quarterback position, he's not really moved the ball that well so far. And now a quick whistle as we are at 6.35 left here in this first half of play. Ryan Dobbs, Mo Khan, 8 nothing lead for Kiss My End Zone. Martin. There's the wheel. Going left deep Ooh. and incomplete, and that ball was intended for Max Dedai, and that was double coverage as, again, you can see the deep ball being taken away by Kiss My End Zone. He didn't, he didn't the, the quarterback didn't read that. He just threw it up and hoped for the best. He should have he been looking around, keeping his eyes moving. Because he had uh, he had the two girls on nice little quick quick uh, routes, and you wonder for Joy Nataro if he's maybe altering the view of what he sees on the football field. As long as Joey doesn't jump, he should be totally fine. He has that uh, he has the tendency of in the higher divisions getting those pick sixes off of a rusher, but he also gets beat sometimes with the pump fake. Second down, short left. That's caught by Reka and tackled by Eric Dubois, just shy of the rush bag. Six yard gain, third down and four. And now, Ryan, as they approach midfield, this, this will be the first four into the plus territory if they do convert. They can't punt. They got to continue going forward. They have here. no choice. You're almost at midfield. You, you got to go for it. You're not in your own zone where you're, you're, you're giving them free points. Potentially, you got you to you put the gas, gas to the floor. Knocked down short left. That's caught. Dubois in the tackle, Drysdale in the first down right there for Dedai, and that will be. A first down inside the plus territory today for three hunters. He's a very good receiver. That's a nice, nice throw to, by the quarterback. Man, man has sure hands. And of course, for what he did during the regular season, uh, twelve catches during the regular season, five touchdowns. That's crazy. I mean, he 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 made a big impact on Coed two last year. It's it's surprising he's not getting as much love this year. Deep ball left, incomplete, intended for Bertin. It'll be second down coming up here. So we're seeing that 300s are not being gun shy. No, they're, they're taking those shots, and they need to. They need, they need to put pressure on that, 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 that back three of Alexi James, Drysdale, and I'm not sure who the corner is. 
Falcatan is the other corner okay. on, on the uh, left of the formation or the right of the formation for those who are watching. And Falcatan now will play the halfback role as he will sh babysit Lafleur, who's the second receiver to the right of the formation for Martin. Two by two look again for three hunters. Rolling to his right, trying by time. Notaro can't get to him, he does, and a flag guard instead. So that is just as good as a sack here, and that yep. will stop the play dead on the spot at midfield. That was big. That was very big. And now you're looking at this offense here, starting to sputter for 300s, uh, Ryan, and you wonder what they can come up here because they have had no ideas or no solutions to the problems being thrown at them by this Kiss My Own Zone defense. Joey Notaro is doing a very good job getting in the quarterback's face. He's doing, he's doing what every rusher is supposed to do, causing havoc. And the havoc he's been causing for Martin has made him a headache and a migraine that he's not being able to shake off. Martin looking deep middle. Incomplete. He had Bertin open, and that would have been close for a first down. And now a fourth down comes up here for this 300s defense, and, and they they're going to punt. Are you surprised by that call, Ryan? I mean, yes, they're on their side of the field, but their their defense held Iggy last last round. I mean, I, I definitely wouldn't have punted. I'm a I'm a gas to the floor type of guy. Unless unless they believe in their defense that they can come up big. Yeah, but def defense wins championships 100%, but, like, your offense needs to score. You need to take some chances. And, you know, when you think about it right now, as we approach the final 250 left in this first half, they are approaching almost three halves. I'm not scoring a point against this Kiss My Zone defense. Valdez Manzanero, short pass La Roche up to the left side, and he will be devoured right away for about a four-yard gain. It'll be second down coming up here with 235 left. How do you approach it if you're Kiss My End Zone? Note the clock and get this into plays and score, or do you go quick strike and force them on the heels? I think I think he's going to – I think he might take his time with this one. I mean, he knows his, how good his offense is, and if he just takes his time and moves the ball down and eats the clock, you put your defense back out there with a quarterback who's not doing the, the right job out there, I don't think he's worried. I think he's going to score with, like, you know, under a minute left. As we approach two minutes left in this first half. 8-0 lead uh, for those who had the over in this uh, Vegas line. High snap, and that oh, went like over again. Valdez Manzanaro. And you can see the look he's given to La Roche on the frustration. And now that ball is at the lip of their end zone. It becomes third and long. Do you call timeouts if you're three hunters? Uh, I def I I'm not a I – I like to use my timeouts, but not in this situation. The, you force them to punt. You get it at midfield. Uh, th then, then you call a timeout, maybe. But, I mean – you got five plays. Five. There's a lot can happen in five plays. And can Carlo Costa come up with a big play here as we are 90 seconds away from five in this first half, and now will be a third and longue almost with where they are positioned on the football field. <laughs> Ball does Manzanero looking towards the left, short sideline caught by Drysdale cutting against the grain around in the shad around two players, and he's going to get to the other sideline. That's a first down. And he is very close to a first down, and he will oh, be short. Mind. So the bad news is they didn't get the first down, but the good news is they're not inside their 10. So if they do punt the ball away, it will go to the opposing 10 yeah. as opposed to midfield. But it looks like they're going for it. I think they only have about seven, six to seven yards left. And with that, when you think about it right now, Ryan, I mean, that could be a backbreaker for this 300s defense. They had them dead to rights in their territory, yeah. pinning one-way traffic. And now this becomes a, an option where if they do convert on this first fourth down here coming up, this could be a big play for this Kiss my, kiss my end zone offense. Seems uh, if you read Iggy's playbook, it seems that if they're in a third and long, it seems to be a hook from James Drysdale. Whistle, timeout called, and that will stop it in with 25 seconds left here in this first half, 26 seconds to be exact. Now if you're 300s, what can your dollar be on defense to get this stop on offense? It's tough. They, they they have the athletes out there, but I, I don't know. It's they're they're that offense is dangerous. I'm surprised they only scored eight points. But it, that's the good news, right? It's only eight nothing. Yeah, they're they're still in this game. Yeah, 100 percent. They're still in this game, but it's still surprising. Like, I feel like Iggy, I feel like Iggy is is taking his time. I feel like the second half might be a little bit bigger for him. But you know, it's it's definitely. I'm I'm happy 300s are doing something. You know, they came they came from uh, I think a, a second to last place last season to. The finals this season, they're doing something right. Well, they're doing something right indeed. An 8 nothing lead here, 26 seconds left in this first half. Valdez Manzanao has had a disjointed start, a very muted start so far for him. 
and he's pointing something out to the referee and how this is going for him right now. And we'll see how this plays out. Could this be a double rush? No, cost of the rusher. Going short middle, deflected, caught by Dubois to the left side. She goes into the plus territory, and that should be enough for a first down and will be enough for a first down, and we'll keep this drive alive as we approach five plays. Yeah, I don't think he's going to run anything special here. He's going to wait till the time comes down to a halt, take those five plays, and just take his time with them. And, and what's surprising is that Costa got a fingertip on the ball and still was completed in transition. Erica Dubois has great hands, so I'm not surprised she caught that. She's very good at what she does out there at the half. Uh, sorry, the slot back position. Ten catches during the regular season, had four touchdowns for about 107 yards. And now in the plus territory and with five plays left, this could definitely be a backbreaker. Deep middle, Dubois, that's Alexi that is catching that ball and tackled by Deleuze Gray inside the red zone. And now they're smelling blood with their tails up ready to score points again. Yeah, yeah, that was a that was a nice call by Iggy. He just sat, uh, Alexi sat right right in the open coverage and almost almost got six, almost. And now with this being a first and goal, could this touchdown be the passport to victory here for this kiss my end zone offense, as they've been held in stuck since their opening drive, and now a pivotal moment here that can paint the picture of perhaps three hundred in a trail position going towards the second half. LaRoche walks his way up ahead. Two by two receiver formation again. Dubois to the second right of the formation. Short left, caught Dubois, touchdown. Those short routes in the red zone are almost the hardest thing to cover. 14 nothing lead. And what went from being fourth and extremely long, converted for a first down. And a touchdown. And a touchdown and a 14 nothing lead. And you can just see the deflation in the shoulders of 300s knowing that they had a chance to make a, a stop here and get the ball back. Now they're done by two scores, if not less or more, going towards five plays. They had them, and they just couldn't capitalize on the perfect opportunity that was given to them. And now the opportunity for Valdez Manzanato looking towards the middle, right corner, picked off. This is going to be a big play. One man to beat. Goes right by LaRoche. Spin move and tackle by LaRoche. And oh, Junior Boteau coming up big, and they needed those points but couldn't get them. So they get the stop, 14-0 lead, two-score lead. And for Martin, he has a tall mountain to climb to get this offense back on track. That would have been that would have been a very much-needed two-point conversion for the 300s to take that back. It would have given them a little bit of a boost. And now that boost that they need, they, I believe, have three plays left, or if not two plays left. I think it's three plays. I think I think it's three plays. So three plays left. Work the field halfway. We'll see what happens. Real route to the right. He avoids that. Martin will take off. And Dubois, along with Notaro, snatches that flag. And you made that point before that wheel route. That was open down the right side. I, I, I'm not understanding why they're not playing their uh, their rusher, uh, Carlos. Or Carlos, sorry. He, he's got some speed, and I feel like he can definitely take advantage of at least one of those DBs out there. Two plays left here in this first half. As my voice dries up here. <laughs> we'll be okay, though. Reke the snapper. And we'll see what they can do so far. And for Martin, he's had a tough day, unable to find the connection. Going deep middle. Pick. Drysdale snatches that ball in the air. And away he goes and tackled the one. That was a nice, that was, he got up to the highest point right there. That was a nice catch. And the day was the one intended receiver. And that might put this game away here because that takes away six off the board. He actually had Lafleur on the opposite side. James had bit to the, the left, and he had Lafleur wide open on the same exact route. Drysdale, a centurion. So at halftime, 14 nothing lead here as my voice dies out here. I'll get some water afterwards. But <laughs> right, right now, looking ahead here towards the second half, how important is it now for 300 just to relax the nerves and get ready because they're not now down by two scores going towards the second half. They they really just need to they need to feed their their all stars their their players that make the biggest plays the ball. The quarterback needs to take an advantage of what he knows he can do. I've never seen him throw. I've never seen him play before. But I know his team around him is solid. He just needs to take advantage of that. Like he needs to he just needs to put trust in his receivers because their defense their defense is surprisingly doing very good. We look at Iggy Valdez Manzanato's offense. Yeah, that's that, <laughs> their defense. Like, 
300 is definitely is being su very surprising right now, but it's it's going to be interesting if Iggy if Iggy doesn't take his foot off the gas, I think the score is going to double very soon. One more score. I think game's over. One more score, game over, game over. And that will be the opening possession of the second half for. Oh, K that's Mavs. true. They they get the uh, kiss my end zone guess uh, kiss yeah kiss my end zone guess the ball to start. That's that's very big. If Iggy scores, I think the game is. I think the game is over. <laughs> Sorry, my my voice is dying again already. <laughs> we'll get some water in two seconds here. For those, so for three hundreds here, um, Ryan, how important is it for them to get a couple of sacks and try to create an INT out of nothing here? Oh, it's very important. If they, that rusher's getting to Iggy. He's there. He's just, for some reason, not getting lucky with the D flag, but, like, they just need a couple. They had a big one. Their defense is doing the job, but it's not doing as much as they should be. Iggy's, Iggy's just picking them apart right now. <laughs> well, we'll get some water right now, and we'll get the second half ready here from Brossard. <coughs> up legs? I need some water. Yeah, that's what I need over here. <laughs> I can't leave. I get the camera on me. <laughs> Thank you so You're much. So far. Ryan couldn't be covered for eight seconds. I'm definitely not the main man. I'm just the guest appearance man. <laughs> All right, we're back. I see my voice dried up there, uh, Mr. Dobbs. But that's okay, though. We're okay, though. I, this is your job, not mine. Right? I know, this, I know. This I, I do this for a living. And I, <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm just the guest appearance. This is this is new to me. I'm usually yeah. out there catching the balls and, you know, you guys talking about me. Yeah, it's true. We are. We are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second half action here as we get ready for this. Uh, 30 seconds away from the start of the second half here. Ryan, a key point for each team moving towards the second half. Quarterback needs to make plays on 300s, and uh, Iggy needs to take advantage of how great his offense really is, and they do that. I think it's uh, a cakewalk. Nice nice little celebration with the chip again for their second second time in two, two seasons, I believe. If I remember correctly, they won last season, and uh, definitely looking like they're going to win again this year. Well, 22 minutes away from that happening as reality for this Kiss Man Zone offense and defense here. It's been easy on the eye for them so far on defense, but now for the offense, can they pick up their pace and make it a high-octane attack? Because we know they can score points. They have a streak of 10 games plus now, uh, or 10 games of 31-plus points in matchup. I think this first play is going to either be something deep to James Drysdale, who's out there to the right. And now short left, oh, nope. caught by Alexis Dubois, and he is hooked by Rekka for probably a two-yard gain. And he's used a short game really well on yeah. his left in that first half that's carried over into the second half. The left side seems to be their weaker side. They're not doing too well over there. The, the right side is uh, definitely locking down a little bit better. He's had more the, – the corner on this side, side has had more opportunities to make interceptions, and, I mean, he got one on the extra point. This 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 right side's doing uh, this left side sorry is doing all the work. We'll see if Laurie Willette or Echo Dubois numbers called up on the right side of the formation. Looking towards the left, short caught by La Roche up the middle, away he goes, C an open C right there, and he's brought down right away, and that will be close, and that should be enough for a first down in the open two plays of the second half. I'm very surprised Iggy has not used uh, James Drysdale as much as he usually does. I've watched a couple of their games, and I know James likes to uh, to go off, per se. He might go off in the second half. Yeah, I mean, yeah. definitely defensively. I know he, he's a game changer. I mean, look, he has an interception already this game. Uh, he plays a big part on their defense for sure. Well, Drysdale now is the receiver first on the left of the formation. Dubois, the second receiver on the, on the left as well. The road snapper and Larry Willette on the wide out to the right. Well, that's Mazzanello. Caught by Dubois. Upper head to the left side. Tackled by Hashad. And there inside the plus territory. It'll be second down coming up here for k -Maz. And for uh, Alexis Dubois, during the regular season, 36 catches. Just shy of 400 for the year. Uh, one of the better two-way players in Kuwait 2 this past season. Who did I give the uh, reins to in the uh, number one receiver this season since I didn't play Kuwait 2? I've won that uh, award four seasons in a row. I guess it's Lexi Dubois that won that award, oh. perhaps. Oh. It's okay. Right. Second down coming up here, south of 20 in this second half for 14 nothing lead. 
you would imagine in the law of averages, if they score now, this might be over. Dubois, open left side. One play to beat, beats it. Perowitz his way in. And that could be the backbreaker to the hearts of 300s as you're down 20 nothing with 19.35 left in this second half. I think that, it, oh, they're going for two points. I think if they get this, I think it's, it's done, though. I don't think uh, 300's coming back from this. Swift and slick by Alex Dubois, and he gets in for six. And he's now imposing himself onto this 300's defense in more ways than one on both sides of the football in this game. And now this could be a pivotal moment here. This could be a 22-point lead. It's running out a three-score lead regardless. Drysdale is the wide out to the left. We'll let the one out to the right. Two-point convert coming up here for Kamez. Early Ooh. movement by Alex Dubois. And he might have been uh, twitchy trying to get himself. I think he was excited because I think the ball might have been coming his way. <laughs> well, he knows it too. And they'll move it back five. And this will become about five yards more difficult for this Kamez offense here with 18.45 left. Would you I not take it on the next drive, though? If you're, uh, I would, I would definitely, I would definitely take the extra five on the offensive possession, give you that little bit of an edge since your offense isn't moving the ball yeah, as well. Yeah. But I mean, hey, area to Easter own. I mean, they have faith in their defense to not give up this easy two points. Well, the defense has played well at times, but it's the offense that's failed them. As the questions are being asked about this 300 offense in this matchup, deep left, Drysdale oh, caught. He caught that. And will they challenge it, though? Will you challenge it? And we'll see on the replay here, because there was a bobble. And here you go, Ryan. Give us your thoughts right now. That's a catch. That's a catch. They maintain possession a, on contact of the field. That's a catch. Let's that's see it again catch. here. We'll try to get a freeze frame at the end of the play. So only where Dries will catch it. Possession right there. There's a bobble right there. Feet are in. And he's got two hands on the ball. And he maintains contact right there. Beautiful freeze frame. And there goes his body corkscrewing his way through. Deep right. Open. Incomplete. Oof. Intended for Lafleur. And that ball had too much meat on that pass. It'll be second down coming up. If only James could have caught a couple of those balls in our, uh, you know, our, our Div C semifinals against the infantry. I think, it would, I think it would have been a little different. I would be playing in the finals tonight. Well, you guys gave up 61 points in that uh, No, 60. Action. I think it was 60. 61, but it's actually. <laughs> I, I, I checked it out. I'm only the snapper. I don't play defense, okay? You always have an excuse there, right? <laughs> uh, I'm hey, just a guest on this hey, show here. You're hey. the host of the show. You're, you're, the, you're the shot caller. I don't uh, shot call the defense. I probably am. So it'll be second down coming up here as we approach 1651 left in this second half. Trips, to trips the now right. to the right from Martin. First time we've seen that so far. Can they overload in that formation? Looking towards the left, and that is going out of bounds and into field two it goes. Intended for Martin. And right now you can just see this offense stuck in park with no answers to the questions being thrown at them by this KMS defense. I don't think the, the Kiss My End Zone defense is doing anything special. They're just playing proper football. And the quarterback just doesn't know what to do. It's it's very interesting. He's almost bamboozled. Yeah, it's 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 not like they're running anything special. It's just straight up defense. Simple defense, not, yeah, not it's, nothing it's, exotic. It's, Let's see what Mate can do. Dropping back, going deep right, the wheel routes open, Lafleur, incomplete, oh. and the yep, flag yep. will come out on Forte. And this will be pass interference or illegal contact. We'll see what the call is. I think definitely. And illegal here's a replay contact. right there. Looks like Forte puts his his hand directly into the chest. But Forte made great recovery on oh, the yeah. gap oh, on yeah. that ball thrown in the air. So you even get close enough to making a play on that matchup. He's got some speed. I don't know. I've never seen him play before, but that uh, that, that that closing speed was very very impressive. The bad news is for Game as they. And there's a timeout called here as uh, maybe hands to the face. I'm not too sure what that that penalty is going to be. It's it's kind of interesting. It is fascinating though, right? Because Falcon literally was about eight yards away from that ball. The moment the ball was released in the air, he was eight yards, and he made up those eight yards on that situation. I think there's a challenge actually. So a challenge could be be called here, and it appears it is indeed, Ryan. So let's see now. What are we challenging now? If you are 
came. I, w- I would say they're challenging. Well, I, I don't know what the penalty was. If it was illegal contact, it would make sense. I mean, he got his hands up at kind of in the, the head area, but it doesn't look like it was crazy enough to be. And again, that's our best view. If we get the eagle-eyes view of what it was initially, and again, we'll see now what the play was and see from the eagle eye here. The real look at look at the difference from fuck them. He's about eight yards away. And he made up the ground, and then he got called for the infraction. I think I think it might be like a a, a hand to the face, maybe. It look kind, it kind of looks like he slapped him a little, but I'm not too sure. There is a penalty, but the question is, what is being challenged in the situation right now with the three referees on hand? And uh, again, looking at the replay again, Lafleur wide open. That ball had air in it. If it was more in a line, maybe we're talking about six points than maybe a challenge as we speak. Yeah, that uh, he's he's had that he's had that play there. He's had the wheel almost every single time. Right. He just seems to be overthrowing the ball or not putting it in the right area for his his receiver to go up and get that. And you can see Iggy Valdez Manzanato um, doing his own uh, Oscar performance and how that play was. <laughs> Explain to La Roche what he saw from yeah. his sideline view. But again, the challenge being called, and we'll see what the decision will be rendered here. And again, for this situation, Ryan. If it gives a lifeline to three hunters and they're able to score, perhaps there's a little bit more twitch, a little bit more jeopardy in this matchup going towards the final 15 and change. They would need to stop on defense right now. Right now, even if they do score, I don't, I don't see them being able to come back. Even there is a lot of time on the clock. There's still 15, 15 minutes left, but I'm not, uh, I'm not optimistic. Well, they had to stop in the first half. It's they, you know, if they scored on one of the drives in the first half, Ryan. We're talking about maybe this being a one-score game than being a three-score lead. They were, yeah, if they would have scored in the first half early on, it would have been a tie game. It would have been 8-7 if they got their extra point. It would have been it would have been different, but seeing how they didn't, I don't, I, I'm not too sure. Even if they score now, like I don't know if it'll be enough of a boost of energy and confidence yeah. to shoot them up. And it appears this is going to be favoring Kmez. And so the challenge is won by Kmez. And this now becomes a fourth down. That's a punt. And they're punting again. Defense is coming on the field. I think they're punting. And this is almost no. They're keeping the defense off. Oh, that's that's a smart decision. Because if you punt that, you're you're essentially waving the white flag with 15 to go. Exactly. So the challenge won by Kmez at the end of the day. I'm very curious to see what 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 the the penalty was about and what they challenged exactly. No question. And right now for this 300s offense has been very muddled in this game here. And they need to get some execution right now. Trips right. LaFleur, the wideout to the right of the formation. And Dadai is the first player on the left of the right of the formation as well. Malkatea looking towards the right. Deep right. There you go. LaFleur, incomplete. Malkatea in the coverage. And that will be a turnover on downs, and that might be the dagger in the hearts of three hunters and trying to keep themselves alive in this matchup. He, the quarterback had the mismatch. The quarterback had the mismatch with Laurie Willett covering him, and, I mean, he put that ball right where the receiver could get it, and the receiver didn't bring it down. And this could be easy in the eyes now for Kmez. If they do score a touchdown, it's literally putting the cherry on top of the, the division crown of winning this co-ed two. Yeah, yeah. They're, if they score right here, I 100% the game is is completely over. I don't know what's going on here. And right now, when you think about it, Brian. I think there's another challenge coming in. And this might be a challenge. You're after right For the, the contact again. I think there might be another challenge on the contact. So you're going to challenge that, which you have to. It's the last roll of the dice here for 300. You need, you need a lifeline. You need a lifeline. So what's your calling right now from what you saw? Incidental? It's, I mean, no, because you didn't try to go for the ball. But, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call that contact. If we get the bird's eye view from our vantage point, that might give us. Here we go. Again, Fartem making the ground. E, now, if we, if we can reverse that back at the moment the ball is near Lafleur, I think we might he have do, a he, it, it does not look like he even attempts to go for the ball. It kind of looks like he just takes out Freeze the Freeze it right there. Right there. Boom. Yeah. No, I don't know. Lafleur does get his hands on the ball, but what was Forte in that situation? Right? Yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. 
it's, it's the last roll of the dice here. Yeah, they, they, it's a lifeline they, they have that they need to take advantage of. They, this is it for them. And with 14 and change left, if they don't win this challenge, it's pretty much all oh, she wrote. Oh, they got it. So they do get it. So the lifeline is that, kept. That's that's definitely what they needed. That's so definitely what they they've, needed. They've used one of their nine life uh, lifelines that they've had here. And so now they get the first down. And they move the ball up ahead here, and a chance to maybe get six points because. And you, don't they keep their? Don't they get another challenge because I they so. because they won the challenge? I think they still get another one. I believe so. They have now gone almost seventy-one minutes without scoring a point against Kmez. Wow, wow, that's uh, that's not doing too good for them. No, it's not. And now for Martin, he's got to dial up something in his bag of tricks here and try to get himself. A touchdown if they can. Trips right once more. Martin looking now towards slant right. That's caught up ahead by Lafleur, crossing against the grain. Dubois in on the tackle, and that will stop play. <coughs> and a third down coming up. They're gonna. They need to use utilize that quick pass. They they have the the speed in Lafleur, and they have the 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 hands and everybody. They just need to they need to get it going. But there's still 13 minutes. I don't know. No huddle offense again for Martin. Rolling to his right. He's going to take off down to the right side. And he is close enough to a first down as he tried to barge his way through Ouellette and Fartin. And now you can see he's just trying to go with more urgency on the no huddle moving yeah, he, forward. He didn't even try to slow down there. He just shoulder down and ready to go. Like, Fortin has a, a reason to be putting his hands like, you know, what is this guy doing? Felt like a bulldozer out there. Yeah. That'll be base formation again for Martin. Lafleur, the one out to the right. The die is the second receiver to the left of the formation. Big play now for this Hunter's offense. Going pumping left. There you go. There you Buying go. time. Going to the left. That's oh. through the hands. Oh, Dubois in the God. coverage and contact right there, intended for the for Bertin, that is. And that should be a first down, and they'll get even closer towards the end zone. And you can see from the replay here. Where was that flag when Alexi fractured my orbital bone, man? Come on. Yeah, that wasn't that was pretty gruesome. Yeah, I that was, was gruesome, and I didn't even get a flag on that. At least when Quasi split my forehead open, I got the flag on it. I was there for that as well. <laughs> I was there for that as well. Yeah, you, see, you, see, you seem to be my uh, my bad luck chart, man. Yeah, it appears I am indeed. <laughs> so with that, it'll be first and goal from the six, and so the luck of the nine lives coming through for three hunters. Yeah, this drive is definitely something they now. need. This drive is definitely something they needed, and I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't have the uh, the confidence that they're going to come back, but. <laughs> and now an overload to the right of the formation trips, right, that is. Now 10, looking, Ooh. plenty of time, backing, rolling to his left. He's going to go cross body, right oh. guy, incomplete, Drysdale, did he get it? Whistle is called, first, first down, down going the other way. Wow, what a pick. That was a beautiful interception. And that is a backbreaker, but now will that be reviewed? And we'll, we'll see if here. If they, they, they have the challenge. Deflected. Oh, that touched the ground. That, that hit that the a, ground. That 100% hit the ground. And do you challenge that? And that hit the ground, no think, question. I don't, I don't think they know. Oh, oh. They called the timeout, or are they challenging? Oh, yeah, QB's challenging. You have to challenge, and again, watch again right now. We'll see right there. The the nose of the football, right there. Oh yeah, that's on the ground. He doesn't. Yeah. He like I love James and all, but that's that's a that's not an interception. That's a that's an incomplete pass. So for Martin, he's challenged three times on this drive. He's one for two, looking to go two for three on this drive alone of no, challenges. I, 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 I believe. The kiss my end zone challenge the first oh, one. That's true. That's right. And so then now he's one for this, one. This, so. this is the rubber match right here. Yeah. The best out of three right now. I beg your pardon on that. And this should be overturned and be kept alive for three hunters with about 10, about 11, 11, 59 left here in this second half. Yep. He just called it incomplete. No good. So with that, it will be third down coming up for three hunters. Again, they are... They must have a rabbit in their back pocket or something. They, some those those, those something. nine lives just keep kicking in for them right now. They definitely do here. <laughs> and they, they're thanking the football gods. And they want to get something over here. Can they come up with something? Can they mastermind and come back here? An ultimate smash and grab. Down by the score 22 nothing. as we're south of 11 minutes left in this second half. 
Lafleur the slot to the right. Short pass hook. That's caught to the left side. There you and go. Dubois nice, in nice and the tackle. Slow. Nice and slow. Keep it easy. Get yourself a little closer. Set up a couple of triple slants and then underneath, you know, do something smart. Bartea in on the catch. But now the urgency has to pick up here, Ryan, if you are 300 because you want to score and keep playing a clock time. Yeah, it's, there's 10 and a half left. He's, he's got he's to get some urgency back in him because, you know, the minute that it goes under 10, you know, the, the odds of getting the ball back become slimmer and slimmer, especially in flag football. Full throttle ahead here for Hunters. Short right, incomplete, intended for Rekka and Falcate in on the coverage. And with 10-10 left, that uh, hourglass is starting to shrink even more for yep. this 300s offense. Fourth down as well. It's it's a score or... You're done. Exactly. I don't know. I, Iggy, Iggy's very good with the time management. Very, very good with that. So it's it's going to be very interesting. Keep their hopes alive. Oh, Incomplete. Bertin was in. He was open. And by the replay that we'll have right here, he had the catch in his hands. He went airborne, artistic gravity, but did not have the artistic part down. The gravity was yeah, there, yeah, but he, the artistic part was not the, there. He had the beauty of the catch, but uh, forgot to bring the feet down. The and landing yeah, wheels I think, were I think not the, there. The, the, landing, uh, the landing looked like it may, maybe popped the ball out of his hands. And caught in two months in that situation, and with that, that might be a wrap for 300s as they are down by a score of 22 nothing with 9-14 left, and they know the resonation is right there that this game could be all but done. Short pass, slant. Dubois up ahead and the shot on the tackle. And that will get over seven, if not close enough to seven yards in the second down coming up. And it's, the time just keeps rolling. Iggy's, Iggy's taking his time. He's really using that 30 second clock. It's 30 seconds, right? Or is it 20? I never 20 know. 20 seconds. I never know. Sometimes you're in the huddle and it's Well, like, yo, you're always cutting down. 10 seconds, referee. Yeah. Five seconds, referee. Where's the delay of game, referee? You know, I thought you would know that stuff yeah, there, no. Mr. Ron Dobbs. No, I don't, I don't usually pay attention. I just like the yell at refs every so Only when it's five seconds. Yeah, it only when it's five seconds. Only when it's five seconds, <laughs> Ron. Huh? Nataro and Dubois to the left. Valdez Manzanato looking to put this game away and put a kill shot. And he's going for the kill shot. Oh. Deep left. Incomplete. Oh. It for Nataro. And in on the coverage. He could have he could easily kind of stole that for an interception right there. And now it is going to be a third down coming up here. A third and about three and a half coming up here for this K-Mez offense. Uh, hook to Lori Willette on the outside. We have not mentioned her name at all in the second half. Which is surprising because she is such a threat on offense. She, does, she makes a lot of good plays and she gets open. But they do have one of their best... Defenders on her. So the Junior Bateau is on her as we speak. Exactly. He's playing inside shade on her as we speak. But I believe it's going to be a quick little hook right here. Short pass. LaRoche. Oh. That's been his safety valve. And the shot in the tackle. And that should be very close, if not enough for a first down. It is yep. by a first fingernail. Yep. And the right toenail coming through for LaRoche. And now a first down which means you can kill off another minute and a half to two minutes of uh, game clock for yeah, game Yeah, exactly, minutes. exactly. You can, he's, he's, been, he's been time managing this drive super well. They got it back at, what, 10 minutes? It's already almost seven minutes left. And, and now LaRoche has been the, the chief destroyer of the heart of the 300s defense. Do you start cheating on him a little bit and dare Iggy to go deep with his wideouts? I would. I would take away that quick stuff. I mean, it's it's been eating them alive. It, like. And Zafir in on the tackle and Erico Dubois and Costa in, in as well. So maybe that might be the game plan here late in this matchup to kind of take away the best and force Valdez Mazzano to look at his option B, C, or D. And those options are very good as well. I mean, you can take away, you can take away Joey, you can take away Alexi, but then you still have... Your center, and a lot of centers don't get covered. A lot of teams just say there's no point in covering the center. He's only getting three to four yards anyways. But those three to four yards make every drive. That's a first down if you catch the ball three times. k Mez, they're on a seven-game winning streak. Their last glitch, a tie game against two, three hunters. Ooh. So now they're on the cusp of putting three hunters away and winning themselves a co-ed two championship. Eric Dubois down the left sideline, right sideline, and he got around Buteau momentarily. And that will be enough for a first down once more with six to go in this second half. They've had the ball for almost four minutes, or maybe maybe a little over four minutes now. This is this is a drive that Iggy is just taking advantage of. This is a drive that they're just squeezing the life out of this game. Yeah, no, it's 
the, the three hunters need a, a stop and big time. If they don't get one, it's. I mean, I, I kind of, kind of feel like it's over anyways. But it's. Uh, they don't look too enthusiastic to be out there playing defense right now. No, it might be fatigue too. This is, this would be the ultimate great escape here by three hunters if they do come back down by three scores with five twenty five left in this ball game. Valdez mounts it out, looking towards the middle, pumping short left, caught by Nataro. And he's brought down by two great almost, uniforms. Almost dropped that. Almost dropped that. <laughs> Jordan Nataro in on the catch. During the regular season, five touchdowns, 16 catches. And now Ryan has reproached five left here. Who's your MVP? Ooh. I don't know. I mean, I would you'd have to give it to James Drysdale because he's made basically oh, actually, you know what? Alexi Dubois has scored two of their touchdowns tonight. Sorry, today. It's not nighttime yet. Well, for those who might be watching at nighttime, you never know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Someone in a different time zone. But is it, I don't know. James Drysdale has came up big on defense multiple times, so maybe him. Short left. Right, that is. La Roche tackled by, again, two gray uniforms. And it'll be second down coming up here. It'll be second in the nose. Four, or third down, I beg your pardon, coming up here for KBS. The MVP favorite would have been LaRoche, but with his two bad snaps, I, I kind of feel like he kind of kind of blew that one for himself. He, he snapped out MVP consideration away with yep, those bad big snaps. Time with those two. I mean, we're, we're overlooking Iggy. I feel like Iggy can definitely deserve it as well. He's yeah. played a very sound game. He's right. He's on a six-minute drive right now. Like, you know, that's, that's I, I feel like that's some Kevin Wyatt stuff right there where, you know, holding the ball for as long as you can. Well, looking to break down this door one more time here with a peach of a pass. Can he find it on this next play? Looking towards the right, pumping now to the left, buying time, back Sack. foot, sacked by Costa. That's big. A little too late, but that's big. And it'll be fourth down coming up here for this k offense. And you're right, this is almost a seven minute drive. Yeah, this is like, this is. This is almost a touchdown equivalent. Yeah. Pretty much, you, you killed off the game. You might not score, but, but you, you don't need to. seven you don't, you, valuable minutes. You don't need to, because it's, there's an 18 point lead. Yeah. There's gonna be no five plays. He literally, he's, I think it's what, third down, fourth down? Fourth he get, down He gets up. the first down here, he can shave off another three minutes and the game's over. They don't even need to score. Ideally, they don't need to score. And I think Valdez Manzanana knows that. Yeah, he, this, this time management is amazing. He's doing a very good job of that today. This is almost a mastermind. A uh, uh, 400-level class at the university <laughs> on how to mastermind time management. And that's incomplete intended for Alexis Dubois. Uh, so the bad news is that they come up empty, but the good news is they killed off almost eight minutes that's, of clock. That's wild. Uh, I mean, Alexi could have definitely made a play for that, kind of threw up his hands like he didn't want to catch it. But, I mean, that was, that was easy. He made a business decision, perhaps. Yeah, well, I mean, it's only a business decision if he stops 300. Lafleur seems to be getting open and getting there. He just has not had those nine lives in his favor. No, <laughs> he's not. Catching them for a touchdown. No, and now it is down to this final drive, and it's more of formality for KMS to hold on to the shutout if they can do so. Going deep middle and to no man's middle. land. Incomplete. For 10 was the closest for K Mez. This would be the second shutout for K Mez, right? They got a shutout 31 nothing. I think. Yeah, if we if look, if look at the live clock, right? So 44 play, 44 minutes, 22 to 66. Now we're inside. So 86 minutes and counting right now. And plus plays. So, so 10 plays, so 10, 15 plays. So 86 minutes plus 15 plays. And there may even be maybe no five plays left with this being what it is yeah, right now. Yeah, this is. This is definitely like they played their best defense against the Bihunas this year. Intoxicating, insufferable, you name it, this is what it was. That is caught by LaFleur, Dubois in on the tackle. And they are... There's there's no drive in them anymore. They're, I, I think they, they've understood the fate of the fact that the game is over for them and they're just trying to pad some stats now. 75 seconds away from five plays. And that would be an impressive accomplishment that you go two games plus plays and putting a donut against your opponent. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's solid defense right there. Going deep to that's ruin pick. that. Picked off by Drysdale, and that will be it. And with 55 seconds left here, 
This game's all but done. And for Kiss My End Zone, they are a couple snaps away from clinching. They're second in a row. And Koa, too. Not bad. A marvelous team that went 9-0-1. The only blemish against this 300s team when they tied them. They still will have the invincibility or the invincible tag because they did not lose a game during the regular season, yep. but not the perfect season, though. Yeah, they uh, did not uh, – they didn't pull it off, but hey – Iggy, Iggy and his squad definitely did a did a great great thing this year, and when you got a quarterback like Iggy at the helm, throwing that kind of statistical season, it's it's great. And Laurie Willette on the catch, and now just more than a formality, crossing the T's, dotting the I's here, and they're going to put that Kamez name on that spring championship trophy for Coet Two. And that is it. Kamez are your Coet Two champions. A simply scintillating stuff today for them as they completely throttled and ripped apart 300s from start to present. Yeah, that was that was a solid matchup. That was uh, there, there was there was stops, there was there was scoring, but like I, I don't know why 300s didn't take advantage of take advantage like take advantage of the short. They kept trying to go deep when it just couldn't couldn't happen. And now you can see the exhilaration, the jubilation. The happiness <coughs> of Kamez. <coughs> and no question about that, though, Ryan. Uh, a job well done by them. Four halves of no points allowed, plus plays. That's crazy. 88 that's crazy. minutes. That is remarkable what they did to win that matchup. That's, that's, that's some solid defense right there. That's, that's very, very, very good. That's good on them. I mean, it's, it's good for Alexis Dubois. And his team and his, his skills of putting a, a good team together. But, uh, you know, we'll see next season. We'll see if uh, Alexi can bring it back if they come in the winter season. And Sorry, the FPF Cup is coming up. I forgot about that. Well, you know, there's no question FPF Cup is coming up. But we know that for Coed, <coughs> winter is the best yeah, of the best. Winter, winter is the division, like the real, the the best real the test. Best. The Power Rangers. And we'll go down to... President Campana with the trophy and MVP situation coming up. All right, guys, we're down on field level with uh, the uh, newly crowned Coed 2 champions from summer 2022. Kiss my end zone. Congratulations, guys. I present the trophy to Captain Alexis Dubois. And there Along is with the Alexis championship Dubois. banner there for you guys. And there's the team banner. And thank you, Jack. One. And One last wondered, thing to right, present, guys, before zone. we take the photos. Their Finals stock MVP will be up, on by the staff. They, they will have a James target Drysdale. on their chest, whether it's in the fall cup or, as you said before, the winter season Congrats, 2023. Great job. Yeah, All right, we'll really snap some pictures here. Uh, Let me just ask James you a quick Drysdale question here, James. Come on, just on one him. quick question here. All right, James, so you've obviously had a, a great season. You've, you've accomplished a lot across the different divisions. What was so special about playing on this particular team in Coed 2? Honestly, man, uh, there was good leadership all around. Uh, we good always, job, James! Yes, sir, yeah. It, it's a team effort, you know. Football is a team effort. I mean, thanks to all the guys here. We never uh, brought, brought our, our heads down. We kept our heads up, kept communicating, adjusting, and uh, I'm happy to play with these guys, man. It's a good win. All right, congrats, guys. Back up two guys. Thank you so much. Uh, here, as we wrap up here, uh, Ryan, so let's look ahead now towards... Next season, Kamez, what do you think for their future? Well, they're a good team. I, th I don't think, depending on how well everybody's ratings stay low, they might be able to keep, keep their squad now? together. But with the rating system the way it goes, you know, one guy balls out on your team, you lose him the next season for sure because they have such a, they have a good team full of killers. I mean, Joey Nataro is just going to keep going up. James Drysdale just keeps going up. Alexi Dubois goes up as well. It's, it's tough to keep a team together unless you're playing in those higher divisions with a cap. Doesn't really bother you. Three hundreds. What's their future looking in your mind if they come back? Oh, they're 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 a great team. They're a great team. They, if they find a great quarterback, like I'm not saying this quarterback isn't good, but his decision making today wasn't the best and ideal. He had a lot of open targets he could have hit, but didn't, and his time management wasn't that good. And he could have he could have definitely did better if they find a good piece at QB. I think they can definitely take it uh, take it to the next level. Well, that's a wrap here for Co at two. Okay. Your champions are Kamez as they win this game rather easily, 22, 22 nothing. Four yeah. halves of no points big allowed. Big old goose egg. Big, big old goose egg. Okay. Ryan, job done great by you as well, and we look forward to working with you in the future. Yes, sir. You are? We'll see you guys a happy spring. We'll see you guys for the Fall Cup, 
If not, winter season 2023, bye for now. James is right next to me. I put a battery. I, I put a battery in the. What happened to your hand? I was gonna cut my forehead. When? Bang my head. Bang my head. Do you want me to do another?